Some of the early movie legends figures were okay. They had some good detail, but their paint apps weren't superb. So here is a quick, easy way for you to um, brighten them up, I guess you could say, or detail them. Um, basically, you just take a regular old Sharpie. You don't need to have any kind of paint modification knowledge or special paints, anything like that. Just a general Sharpie, because a lot of these guys have bumps and things like that that uh, are already raised, and all it needs is just a little bit of highlighting with the marker. All this is just black Sharpie. All these black bits. Um, this armband right here, that one over there. Just easy to do because it's already raised up. You don't have to worry about it, uh, you know, getting like into cracks or anything like that. See here on the inside, you just chip, 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 draw the lines. You have to make that sound when you do it too, by the way. It helps. Inside there, it just makes a, a little circle inside there. I didn't like all the silver there. His legs look very flat, so putting uh, some black onto it helps to brighten it up. Or not brighten it up. I love uh, mud flap. Didn't need that, but he did. I did put the stuff on the inside of his hand and his little circle there. Um, Bumblebee, his legs are kind of flat. Just a little ch -ch -ch touch right there helps a lot. Same with his arms. Looks like some alien tattoo type thing. Um, there's also two there. You might want to put them on. I haven't. I haven't decided if I want to do that yet or not. Um, so I'd swipe the main ones I did. Was the wheels there are, are still gray plastic, so uh, I put a Sharpie on to make the black wheels. Makes a lot more sense. Um, and last one over here. We put a little tiny dot for a belt buckle there on uh, the Warpath repaint Spark Crusher. And on the top there, you see that instant detail when you just take your sharpie and go over it. See the detail that the grates are already there; they're just raised up. It's like relief. So just making your sharpie ch -ch 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 -ch, just makes it pop, makes it stand out. So you go also, and that doesn't just include Legends uh, Voyager animated Megatron. Uh, sorry, Optimus. His sword is all flat gray on the back, but it's got a slightly raised lip. You take your sharpie to that, and it gives it some detail. In detail. And last one that actually this is the first one I have painted, not to not Sharpie. Um, I just painted some silver. Now it's really tough to see because he's already gray, but there's a silver on the end right there, as well as this is silver. I used some silver paint on it, and that was just because I had the paint out and uh, I wanted to give it a try. The real reason I even had the paint out to begin with was for his face because his chin and mouth were all black. And I hated that. I didn't get this figure for the longest time because of that. I despised it. So, some gray paint in there, and it makes, you know, you can still see the definition in the face and all that, obviously, but it takes away that really ugly goatee, whatever the heck it is he's got. Um, and also, so you know, at least on mine, the head just pops right off. It's just a little slit that goes on there. So if you do the same to yours, you can take it off while you paint it. Um, makes it a little easier, and then you can put it back on. You can glue it in place if you want, but it rarely pops off. Um, and I, I painted some silver detail on his chest as well. All that wasn't there before. So, all the little detail on there. And if you like the black, then you can use black Sharpie on there as well, make it some detail. But, uh, but again, I didn't care for the black on this guy. Some silver differentiation, just, it's very subtle. But it adds some detail, and the, the mouth was the best part. So, that's pretty much it. Take a Sharpie, go to town, find some figures that are lacking some detail, and make it pop.